In one of our previous videos, we listed the top three mobile application for running. In the description below, you can find the link to that video. In this video, we are going to introduce more details about the second top running application on our list, Map My Run. We will go through how to install it, how to use it, and what kind of features exist by looking into the application itself. We hope this video can be a simple guide for you if you're planning to use it or just to show you quickly what this app is about if you're still not sure if worth trying or not. In the description below, you can find the links to a specific part of this video. To start with, go to your App Market Store, either Google Play or App Store and search for Map My Run and install it. Here, I'm using an Android phone and searching the app in Google Play. After installation is complete, press Join Now and enter your information to sign up. You can also sign up with Facebook, but I'm not using that at the moment. Then you will be asked to personalize the app with info about your weight and height. You can also add a photo for your profile. This is optional and you can skip it if you don't want to add these data. In order to proceed ahead, check the terms and conditions and tick to accept. Then press next. After this, you can choose if you want to try the premium version. The premium has a lot of features such as training programs, more data analysis tools and some other cool possibilities. So it's the best to have a free trial for one month and try these functions before deciding if you want it or not. Here, I just skip it and choose no thanks. Personally, I'm perfectly happy with my free version. Then you will be asked to authorize GPS access while using the app. Accept it to continue. Then you will come to the page where you need to give access from the app to your personal data. I personally do not like this. Many other applications give you the option to skip this, but here you can't continue without accepting. After that, it will create your profile. It will ask you to connect to your shoe sensor. Let's skip this. Later, we can have a look into this feature. Press not now and another not now for the premium version. Then you're asked to confirm your registration by checking your email to verify your account. It seems I need to allow access to my location here. Let's do it. If you want to start your activity directly, just hit start workout. You can pause, then resume or pause and hold finish to stop. Then you can add a photo, a comment about your run and select privacy. You can choose this to be visible for everyone, friends or just yourself. That's it. I usually take one or two photos and add here to keep a good record of my running memories and also share some beautiful photos from every new route to my friends here within this application. This is the App Class channel and if it's your first time here and you want to learn about high rated apps, start now by subscribing to our channel. As you saw, the distance measurement unit was kilometer by default. Let's see how to change that to mine. Go to the top left menu, then setting and then to units. Here you can change to any units you want. Now let's move on to another useful setting. Go to the top left menu, then settings and then voice feedback. You can turn it on or off. Here you can set the information you want to hear while running. You can choose the update method to be either time or distance. Usually time updates is the best for interval training for example and distance for normal training. There are more options and you can customize what you want to hear in your voice feedback. I usually have a wired or wireless headset connected to my phone. So while I'm listening to music, at every kilometer there will be a short pause with these updates and my music will resume automatically after that. Now let's see how to add friends and how to follow a friend or athlete. Back to the top left menu, then friends and then add friends. Click search if you want to search for someone that you know and is already using the app or go to invite page and use the different invite method. But what if you don't want anyone to see or follow your activities? That's also possible. To do this, go to the top left menu, then setting, then privacy. Here you can limit the access to others. You can also choose other activities too. Click on run and then you see a list of different activities to select. Let's see how to find challenges or create your own challenge. You can go here to find challenges. Compared to Strava, there are less available online challenges. And here if you want to create your own challenge. 
Just fill in the information and click on Create Challenge. If you want to have a look at your own activity history or your friends or explore the latest activity of others, go to here. Is it possible to create your own route in advance? The answer is yes. You can do that on the web. You can follow the instruction about how to do it. You can also set goals. Go to the top left menu again and choose Select Goals. This is a very nice feature to give you extra motivation. Adding gadgets or pairing to other apps is also very simple. Let me show you. As I said earlier, this application records a lot of information about you and it's not really possible to avoid it. It's a bit strange compared to other apps. But if you are unhappy with this, you need to explicitly ask them to delete your data and then you cannot use the application anymore. So make sure you read the privacy information carefully. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if there is anything you want to add, please leave that in the comments below.